What's up, everybody? This is Bad Player 3 here. Today we're gonna discover Atlantis on Uncharted Waters. Something Uncharted Waters Online. Something I didn't uh, get a chance to do when it was first available. Um, back in the days when it was OG Planet that ran the game. Now with Papaya Play, they finally brought it back. They said they might eventually bring it back, and here it is. The time for Atlantis is at ha at hand. So. Um, this character, my character, Rialtus, has never been to Atlantis before. I will be honest, I did, uh, my other character, I did go to Atlantis just the other day. So I have a little idea, you know, what it's like. But I want to capture this moment for, well, forever, really, on, on YouTube and, and such. So I'm going to make this video to uh, capture the experience. Sorry for the background noise. family. <laughs> so anyways, we need first of all to uh, turn in the final quest to build the solar barge. I have completed all three quests. Basically, there's three pieces to the solar barge you build once you've done all the pre-quests. Each piece of the solar barge offers you three quests. You have to choose one of the quests for each of them. I have now done the third quest for the third piece, and I'm about to turn it in. And that will then officially finish the solar barge and make it available for our first trip to Atlantis. Basically, this is something you do every week when Atlantis is live because as of tomorrow, our time, which would be Monday, the uh, Atlantis resets and moves to a different place and you have to do the quest to discover the solar barge over again to, uh, to recreate it and to get Atlantis back. Um, however, once you have been to Atlantis on a given week, you can go back, it, it's actually physically located in the game, and you can actually sail back with your regular ship whenever you want, so I'm looking forward to trying that out, just to say I did it, you know, once I finish with Atlantis, going back and actually sailing there for real. And of course, I may actually do it again next week, just to see where it is, but um, this week, uh, I won't spoil the surprise as to where it is, so first off, let's turn in the uh, the final quest here. Oh, we got to report it. And then there's a little bit of a, a scene here, so. Finally, it's finally completed thanks to your cooperation. Please check out its launch at the port before you start your research on the barge. As the secretary suggested, you head to the area that is off limits to the public, where the launching will take place. Right when you arrive, the solar barge appears on the water majestically. Ooh. It's light up, light lit up like the sun. So this is the solar barge. How mysterious. Although it's such a small boat, it gives off a strong presence. I can tell it'll take us to Atlantis for sure. Hmm. Let's start the research. You sure like adventure, Captain. I mean, that is one of the reasons why I decided to work for you. Although I'm a bit concerned about the whole curse thing, I've decided to believe in you instead, Captain. Wise choice. I'm counting on you. <laughs> Let's head to the port then, Captain. And that is it. We are now ready to launch our journey to Atlantis. It's good to have such loyal followers, even though I am the brave Rialthus. Ah, I'm not full vigor, but that's okay. Alright, we're going to see some serious solar barge. I captured a lot of the scenes of my previous, my alt, going to Atlantis, but unfortunately the game crashes every time Fraps records changing from one place to another, so a lot of little bits and pieces and reboots. Hopefully this will go a lot smoother on uh, on the broadcast here, so. Alright, make sure we have enough food for the journey. Yeah, we'll get a little bit more. We have lots of cargo space. And then research on the solar barge. And we're off. This thing looks like it can actually sail. You want to give it a try, Captain? Yes, yes I do. The solar barge begins to sail by itself, as if being led by an invisible force. If you take this ship, you may be taken somewhere uncharted. Well, it is uncharted waters online. It will sail automatically, 
But when it's cancelled, you'll be returned to the port where you sailed out from. So let's not cancel it. Sail now. Autobots, sail out! Always wanted to say that. So, so far so good. No crashes. This is our beautiful solar barge. Ooh, it shines like the sun. Its bow is as shiny as the sun! And a guy on the broadcast really likes to sing because he thinks he's the passionate one. Ballroom blitz. Uncharted water blitz. So we're going to find the content, the continent that has been, or that every, I don't know how to say it, every so often gets drunk by the sea. And when I say drunk by the sea, I don't mean like, you know, sailors, you know, getting drunk by the sea. I, I mean, I guess sailors could be drunk by the sea, but, you know, they could also, you know, get intoxicated by the sea. But I mean actually getting drunk by the sea. Drunk by the sea, drunk by the sea. Sailors in Atlantis both get drunk by the sea. Oh, I want to put on my uh, sailing things. Plus, we can actually see where we're going on both our cool map here and our in-game map. This cool map is actually an add-on. I really like it. Ah, look at that big, bright, glowing sun. She's a beautiful thing, the solar barge. A little small. Hope I don't get drunk by the sea. And there we are, teleported near the Azores. And heading north to the first location of Atlantis on the Maris server on your Papaya Play. Thanks to Papaya Play for bringing our game back because as much as we fussed and fought about having to restart all over again, the reality is this game wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Papaya Play. So I want to give a hand to Papaya Play for taking a chance on a game that was struggling and giving us a second life. So I've loved this game for years. When it came down to it, I'd rather have to have started again at least once. Maybe not again, but then to have lost the game forever, so. Sailing to Uncharted Seas. There is pleasure in the untouched woods. There's rapture on the distant shore. Not sure if I said that right, but... And there are strange things done in the midlight sun by the men who moil for gold. The Arctic tales have their... Arctic trails have their secret tales that would make your blood run cold. The northern lights have seen queer sights, but this queerest they ever did see was the night in the marge of Lake Labarge where I cremated Sam McGee. Old favorite. And there it is. Look at that crazy cloud of spinning, I don't know, spinning clouds like a hurricane, but not. Very mysterious. Could this be the lost vanishing continent of Atlantis? Emerging for a time before being drunk by the sea. What is this place? So this is it, eh? This is Atlantis you've been talking about. Yes. Look at this. I can't believe what I'm seeing. I've never seen a city like this before. The residents here look mysterious too. Let's start strolling around. That's because, you know, that's what we're here for.
And here it is, the city of Acropolis, Atlantis. See what there is to see. A saucy daughter and a haughty daughter. Where's it hefty? I don't know how you pronounce that word. You are from the outside world. Hmm, you don't look very strong. Huh, thanks. Wench, when I want your opinion, never mind. <laughs> don't do anything stupid here. We will not tolerate it. Yeah. Go pull the rug out in somebody else. None of the people here are very nice. What business do you have at the Temple of Poseidon? Pay due respect. Pay you a due middle finger. Those who have been removed from our history, what business do you have here? Frick, you'd sink beneath the sea and you think you guys are like King Triton? <laughs> Assistant. We Atlanteans are afraid of people like you. What do you mean people like me? What do you mean people like me? <laughs> Freaking prejudice. Racist against outworlders. outworlders. We're all people here. The counselor has nothing but question marks. Great. You've raised nothing but questions, sir. Thank you for taking the time to counsel me. That's it for this direction. All oh, right, I wanna. So there's a storekeeper there, an item shop, and then of course the port, another port to exit, and of course we gotta go to the temple. The beautiful city of Atlantis, though, or of, of Acropolis, in all its majesty and beauty. All marble, I think. So this, like, sinks beneath the sea. It just doesn't seem like it should be able to survive. What? What do you want from us? Are you people from the outside world? I guess so. This is just a dead end over here. More beautiful columns. Passerbys, I don't think, say anything. Nope. Yeah, this would be where the bank is, but there's nobody there. No port officials to invest in. Nothing but great white emptiness. Ship right to fix your ship. There's the port official. And here's a little dead end niche with a dock which has absolutely no purpose. Just to add space, beauty, and majesty to this wondrous place. Best is still to come. As you get close to the Temple of Poseidon. Also we've got to talk to the merchants still.
Because even though they're from Atlantis, they're still merchants. Like me. I'm kind of a half merchant, half great adventurer. A city man. I'm like a shitty man. Oh, pardon. Sorry, YouTube. What do you want here in Acropolis? I don't know. No one's ever asked me that before. I just wanted to be here. Welcome. Well, that's, a, that's a switch. A merchant actually is nice. Ooh, cool garbs. I wonder if I should buy some of these just to see what they look like on me. I have to do that at some point, but I'm not sure if you're interested in that. But yes, a couple of interesting outfits that Atlanteans only wear. Might be fun to try out some new threads sometime. A maiden. What what can I do for you? Why, why'd you ask? I can st st stutter with the best of us. That's when it's c c comedy stuttering. Who who are you? What why do you all stutter all of a sudden? Who are you? I hope it's not a bad omen. I don't think so. C city girl. Are you telling me that you came from the outside world? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm telling you. Local man. I don't know what to talk about. Just stutter. That's <laughs> what everybody else is doing. A building manager. It's It is off limits for strangers beyond this point. Yeah, yeah, it definitely is. <laughs> Can't get through that great. Great. Zephyrine, I do believe that is another player. Yes, that is correct. As is Flighty. Kind of flighty individual, isn't he? A young woman. So it's not a legend. There are people in the outside world. <laughs> a legend. Wow, this is like your whole world. You have no idea there's an outside world when you disappear. I've never seen you around here before. Who are you? I'm an outworlder. Oh, there's that cool robe that uh, you can buy. It's almost like a toga. You have a toga party, man. Toga, toga, toga. What the? A storekeeper. Ancient technology research. Who are you and the clothes you're wearing? Yes, they're different than yours. I, I haven't been to a toga party lately. Where did you come from? I don't think you're from around here. What was your first clue? Wait a minute. Did you come from the outside world? Ding, 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 ding. What do we got for him, Johnny? Jim Carrey moment. How will you answer? Yes. Yes, I am. As I thought, I've never seen anyone like you. I'd always thought the outside world is just a legend. But seeing you with my own eyes now, I guess we should change our perception. Why not? Let's be hospitable to each other. Now that our two worlds are connected. You're humans, just like us, I see. We don't seem to have any trouble communicating with each other. And I don't think you have any hostility towards us either. No, I don't even have a sword on me right now. No, not that thought I hadn't crossed my mind to like whip out my sword and Nah, never mind. I'm not I'm not, not gonna go over there. But remember this. You are not welcomed here. Really. I, I kinda got that idea. Anyway, what do you want from a guy like me? I don't want any trouble. What? You wanna take a look at our local goods? I suppose. <laughs> Home? Oh, take some local goods home. Okay. Hold on. Did I just tell you that you're not welcomed here? Yeah, I think I think I remember something about that. But today is your lucky day. You just made me very curious about the outside world. Let's see. How about bringing me some goods from your world? I can give you our goods in exchange. Why not? It's just like hand band trading in Japan and, and, and the Orient or East Asia. You seem to be able to attain Atlantean goods. 
If you bring some goods in from the outside world, check trade goods exchangeable under ancient technology research. The goods you receive in exchange will be treated as research objects for ancient technology research. You can accumulate research points by taking various different actions, such as sailing on the sea, winning sea and land battle, exploring a dungeon, or completing transmutation alchemy. When a certain number of points are accumulated, report to your nation's secretary to contribute to your nation's research. As your nation's research advances, you will be able to receive more benefits from your nation. You will also be rewarded according to the amount of research points you have when you make a report. Okay. I understand, I guess. Not really sure of the point. Ancient technology research. So, those ores are commonly what mine in this area. If you, want, if you want, feel free to take them. If you want to study it, try battling on the sea land or going to dungeons with the ore. You'll be able to find out something under certain conditions. Hmm. Research mysterious fabric. Hmm. Mysterious weapon. These, those weapons are commonly used in this area. If you want, feel free to take them. If you want to study it, try battling on the sea or land or going into dungeons. Maybe you'll be able to find out something under certain conditions. Although it's strong, strong against impacts, be careful of water and fire. Well, I am... I do kind of like weapons. I don't know. Weapons. Ah, let's do weapons. What the hell? Oh, I have to bring something. I don't have anything to bring. I have to come back. Okay. So that's the point. You have to bring some goods to trade for those quests to be undertaken. So, on we are to the temple. I am broadcasting. The wife. Young noble. What business do you have at the Temple of Poseidon? Pay due respect. Oh yeah, I was here before. Guess we just head on to the temple. Another player? Sh shadows. Beautiful. It's even more beautiful up here. Hey, cool. It's Triton's uh, trident. And all those beautiful statues. Look at all these beautiful statues, man. It is a very nice place. Almost like tributes of ancient Atlanteans. To ancient Atlanteans. This guy sitting on the throne looks very majestic. As majestic, you know, as anyone can be sitting on the throne. As far as we can go in these directions. So that's it. Into the temple. More beauty and majesty. Like everybody's here too. Hey, hey, the gang's all here. It's the great. It's so great to be here. It's so great to be here. <clears throat> the priest. Tain vanishing continent treasure chest. That's the reward you get for going to Atlantis during this. Not sure if you get it next week, so you. May have had to get it the first week. I guess by the time you're watching this, it's probably not the first week anymore. So, and Atlantis may even be over. So maybe it's a moot point, anyways. But, but inside that is a really cool Atlantis object. Apparently, I can't do it right now. I have too much stuff. So let's talk to the priest and ask about blessings. I will tell you what I know about blessings. What are blessings? 
This is a sacred land where the god of the sea, Poseidon, is worshipped as a guardian deity. Makes sense. It is said that those who can sense the presence of deities can obtain a crystal which contains mysterious powers. We call that a blessing. Oh, I had, I had room for the, no room for the crystal. How do I receive a blessing? Try visiting different places in Atlantis. I heard there are also deities who like ancient technologies or battles. You'll be able to receive a blessing by achieving a specified condition relevant to Atlantis. There are several blessings you can receive. I wish to receive multiple blessings. Greedy bastard. Sorry, YouTube. The deities are believed to appear to those who have made certain achievements. You have achieved something. If you have achieved something, try repeating the same action the next day. You will be able to see conditions required in order to receive the blessings when you use the crystal of blessing. You can only receive the same blessing once a day. No questions. How do I get? Tell me again if you have something you are not clear about. God bless you. God, I thought Poseidon is your... Eh, never mind. Well, you already told me about blessings. How do I get one? I mean, I need room for it. What can I get rid of to make room? Oh, never mind. These should be put away. I guess we can open the Atlantis chest here. Veil of Dominions times 10. I don't know if I use those much. Evade natural disaster. One hour protection. <laughs> Sounds like a product. You buy in a cheap drugstore. I need to get rid of something then if I want to keep that. I'm going to get rid of this letter of skill use. Sorry, any... um. Oh, wait. No, no. Don't get rid of that. Say sorry to anyone who uses uh, alchemy, but that's nothing to do with alchemy. Oh, well. I'll get more purchase order category fours. Man, but I need room to get my blessing. Now, how do I get the blessing? Do I click on the thing here for the dungeon? don't think so. Captain, going into the Temple of Poseidon, this adventurer I came across at the tavern told me there are many traps and hidden paths inside the ruins, and that you might be able to find rare treasure if you're lucky. The thugs inside are also looking for that hidden passage, and won't attack right away. But Captain, you've heard of this already. If not, I'll tell you exactly everything I heard. Nah, I'm pretty much good on that. <laughs> as you've, ah, you've heard, I shouldn't be surprised, as it's you, Captain. Well, let's move on, then. This is a dungeon. It's an endless dungeon. You go as far as you can and try to move up the ranks for how far you go. Not normally my cup of tea, but... I may do it at some point. Just to say I did. I'll tell you. Now how do I get that blessing? How do I receive a blessing? I don't know. I'm confused. Thought my other character got a blessing. Somehow. Unless when I talked to the merchant, because I'd already been in the temple, that's why I got it. Ah, there we are. I am Poseidon, the guardian deity of Atlantis and the ruler of the sea. I see you are not Atlantean, but you have a strong will and a good heart. Very interesting. I shall grant you the power of mine.
There we are, the crystal of blessing. Teen crystal of blessing. When certain conditions relevant to Atlantis have been met, you can obtain a crystal of blessing and will be able to receive blessing from the deities using it. You may only complete each condition once a day. You can access the description of possible blessings and their ranks upon use of crystal of blessing. Talk to the priest in Acropolis for more detailed information about blessings. Can I just use it then? Ooh. Poseidon's blessings. God of the sea, Poseidon's blessings can be received if you visit the temple where Poseidon is enshrined. Receive it once a day. Oh, going into the temple is one blessing in itself. Can travel over land or through a canal while still carrying a certain amount of trade goods for a fixed period of time. The amount varies based on the blessing rank. Ah, of course I'm only rank one, so who knows if it's all that useful. Interesting. Receive the blessing? Yes, I will. I feel blessed. We are so blessed. And I guess that's it. Nothing else to be seen here by the looks of it. Just a bunch of ornery, mean people that don't want me to be here and a few people that uh, bless me and help me. So only 60 minutes. Boy, that's useful. I barely can even get anywhere where I travel over land or through a canal in 60 minutes. I guess you take the crystal with you. Use it when you really need it. But really with uh, the train in North America helping with um, Nanban, it's pretty much an out-of-date concept. The Industrial Revolution really did change everything. Okay, so I guess it's time to leave. Join up with our friend and sail back home. As you can see, Atlantis is right here, not far north of the Azores this week. Not too far from Lisbon, actually, surprisingly enough. Yet, never seen it before. Funny. So that's pretty much it. Our live look-in and exploration of the lost continent of Atlantis and the city of Acropolis. Actually not going to go too far away, but looks just like it did when we come in, except we're now traveling on a regular ship. But that's it. That's, that's all Atlantis is. Some cool stuff. Definitely something I wanted to do once in the game. Pretty reasonable quest chain to get here. It's certainly not trying to discover Xanadu, or heck, even uh, in the last one I did on um, El Dorado was much, much more work, so yeah, it's an interesting experience for not too much work, as long as you kept up with the game, and I guess even if you haven't, really, the, que the, the one quest that uh, you can do if you're not wanting to go on a long exploration through Japan, or and, and the Orient, I should say, East Asia, or if you haven't d discovered Xanadu, called Dangerous Caribbean is actually a pretty reasonable easy quest to do. You don't have to win any fights and yeah, it was it was pretty reasonable, I guess. So it was uh, something anybody can really do if they want. Virtually not or not very much uh, requirements for skills and that. So it, it's it's here for everybody. And of course, if people do like uh, an endless dungeon, you know, I added a second endless dungeon to uh, go with the labyrinth of uh, King Minus. So something new. Anyways, I'm going to wrap it up with that. Uh, thanks for tuning in on this video. Uh, once again, I'm Bad Player 3 also known as the D-Job, Danimal Daniel Jobber. Follow me on Twitter at Daniel Jobber or Bad Player 3 capital B on Bad Player.
capital D and J on Daniel Jobber. Follow me on Instagram under Daniel Daniel Jobber, all lowercase letters. I believe they're all lowercase letters. And of course, I have my website, DanielDanielJobber.ca, where you can check out all my uh, content and touch base, that sort of thing. I guess that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed uh, this view of Atlantis. Hope you enjoy seeing Uncharted Waters online if you're not familiar with the game. It's kind of cool, very laid back. You can just relax and feel like you're sailing on the seas, yet at times you can also enjoy the intensity of adventure or combat. Or And sometimes I just like to sail in the areas where a few people ever sail, like the North Arctic and stuff, and just feel like I'm off in another world. And that's the magic of this game. You can experience it many different ways. And it's just a, it's, it's a really good escape from the, the grind of the daily world. So I like it. It's on papayaplay.com. So again, the name is Uncharted Waters Online, UWO. It is a uh, online MMO extension of the original Uncharted Waters series. Uncharted Waters 1 and Uncharted Waters 2 New Horizons, which was on PC. They formatted it to one of the Nintendo's, Super Nintendo, I believe. And, um, actually a pretty cool game with some pretty cool stories, giving you a chance to relive the world as it was not long after Columbus sailed the ocean blue. So that's what really got me into the concept and into the franchise. And then Uncharted Waters Online took it from there. It started out mysterious, but uh, there's lots of teaching, and, and, and the game is just so deep. So much things to do. So many things. Something for everybody, really. It is truly, in a lot of ways, a... Uh, Carnival or uh, amusement park MMO, but a lot more laid back, and you can play at your own pace. You can do it on pretty much when you want. There's benefits to logging in every day, but there's no requirements. And you can join a company and have the social atmosphere if you like, or you can be like me and be very independent. Or you can even multi-play. I have two players that I play simultaneously on two machines. Play the way you want. Really, it's up to you. So, so anyways. I'm going to wrap it up with that. It's the end of this adventure, and on to New Horizons. Bad Player 03 out.